Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, the 39th president of the United States, Jimmy Carter, has offered to meet with Kim Jong-un to try to work out a peace treaty for the United States of America. Uh, reports are that former President Jimmy Carter reportedly offered to meet with North Korea's Kim Jong-un in an attempt at peace talks. A University of Georgia professor detailed Carter's offer to Korea uh, and to the, uh, according to a South Korean newspaper, Carter wants to meet with North Korean's leader and play a constructive role for peace on the Korean peninsula as he did in 1994, uh, according to reports. Uh, also, should former President Jimmy Carter be able to visit North Korea, uh, <clears throat> he would like to visit and meet with the North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, and discuss a peace treaty between the United States and the North and a complete denuclearization of North Korea. Uh, and which is what Trump wants. Trump wants North Korea to lay down all your nukes and we'll work out a deal. And North Korea has said no. Carter says, let me come in and talk to him. Okay. Well, North Korea has not agreed to Jimmy Carter to come and meet. Uh, nor has President Trump agreed to send him. Neither one have even commented. But Jimmy Carter, this is the, the left last effort to try to uh, deter what looks like a, a war that is coming to South Asia. It would be a dreadful war. And a lot of folks think the United States would just clean up on North Korea. But North Korea is a lot more, has a lot more weaponry and rockets and some dangerous things. They could cause some serious problems. Uh, in South Korea and in Japan, primarily. And even in Japan, they could hit our base. We have 40,000 men and women in uniform stationed in Japan and a close to 35,000 in South Korea. So what does this all mean? How does this all play out? And uh, although we appreciate the President Jimmy Carter's offer, I think we're way past that now. I think the military option is already in play. The president has met with his top generals and that, and I'm talking Secretary of Defense James Mad Dog Mattis. He also had uh, Joseph uh, Dunford, the uh, chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff in there. Also, uh, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and many others were all in the war room uh, discussing a war operation on North Korea. So let's wait and see how this plays out, but we're living, folks. In dangerous times, we're living in the last days. Are you serious? I'll be back with more. I pray for peace. I pray for peace. I pray for peace. But it looks like war.